welcome back to my channel my name is Mary and today we'll be doing a tutorial on changing colors in Photoshop and today I'll be changing the color of this lovely jacket here and what we're gonna do here today first is basically simple what we need to change the color is just one layer one adjustment layer and that is the hue and saturation layer so you go ahead and select your hue and saturation layer you can select it from here and you click right here or go to layer and select new adjustment layer and you select your hue and saturation layer and you click ok yeah. so here we have the master so if we change the hue here on the master yeah, it's going to change everything on the image okay and also the saturation is going to affect everything on this image okay and we don't want to do that we only want to change this pink jacket that we have here okay so you can either select red or magenta anyone you prefer because it's close to this pink color so I'll just go ahead and choose red okay and i'll use my eyedropper here to select the color that i want to change which is the pink jacket okay so if you if i make some certain adjustments here we see that though it's it's actually affecting the colors that are close it's not it's not affecting the snow or the building behind it because they're not close to the pink or red at all Okay. so now in order for us just to make sure we are changing the color of the jacket we're going to invert this layer here our hue and saturation layer so we'll click on command i to invert it and now it's black okay and we're going to make sure that our foreground color here is white so that when we paint on this jacket it's going to reveal the color that we want and also we're going to be using our brush tool to do this today so the brush tool i'll go ahead and increase my brush size by using the brackets here on my keyboard okay so i'll go ahead and start painting on the jacket here so let me just change the color as you can see just that little part that i've painted the color has changed so let me just use this color which is going to be more um bright so and as you can see the white yeah the white design on the jacket is not changing color just the jacket but if i decide to put my brush here on the gloves here it's going to change because the color is close to the color of the jacket and i don't want that so when i get to that part i will be careful okay so what basically what you just need to do you just paint and as you see here that my painting is not too effective because my flow here is low okay so i'll go ahead and increase my flow to 100 and as you can see woohoo! now we have the main color yeah now as you can see the color is now like very very bold because my flow was low at first but now that i changed the flow to 100 it's now very very bright so i'll go ahead and zoom so i can see what i'm doing very well and make sure i don't make any mistakes and if i should make any mistake like this i can just go ahead back and erase it by changing my foreground color to black and if i paint on it with the black it's it, this is gone okay so just like an eraser but so now I'll go back to my white and you can use X on your keyboard to change the colors okay so I'll go back to white and then continue to paint on my jacket here okay so as you see the the beer that is white here on the jacket is still white which is good so there are some places that you just need uh, a smaller size of brush so that you don't paint on the on the gloves okay. 
I made a little mistake there on the cap here if you can see yeah so I can just click X and just go ahead and erase it okay so I'll go ahead and uh, continue my painting here at these edges I'll just try to be careful so that I don't paint on the skin don't want a pink skin right so I'll just take my time here to make sure I get this correctly okay this looks good all right so I can go ahead and increase my brush size and make sure everything is done as fast as possible good perfect and that is it yeah we have changed the color of the jacket easily okay so you can make it any color you want by adjusting the u and here you go you have various color of jackets for yourself or for your baby or for anyone yeah i have this color i have this color I have this, 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 I have different colors that I want. And if I decide I also want to change the boots color to match whatever color I choose. For instance, let me say I want this, this purple color for instance. I can decide to paint on the boots. Just like that. I'll paint on the boots and I have a boot a purple boot with the same color I don't need to make a I don't need to do some other things I don't need to do any other settings I'll just use the same brush and I see that I painted here that and I don't want that so I'll just go ahead and click, click the X and change the color and then erase it and that's it we have our purple boots and our purple jacket okay and if you say oh I don't like it purple go back here and change it change it to whatever you want change it to green change it to whatever color you want and if so, oh, I don't like the purple boot. The purple boot doesn't look good. You can just go back and erase it easily. You just change the foreground color and then you erase the co the painting. You erase the color from the boots. Here you go. You have your boots back. And you can also create a new your saturation layer. For the boot so you can just always switch it on and switch it out switch it on and switch it out quite easily done so it's it's nothing not a big deal i guess so here you have it so i'll just do some finishing touches here there are some places that i didn't quite get very well so I'll just make sure I just put my brush over them again and make sure everything is perfect. So yeah, you have it. It looks perfect. It doesn't look changed at all. If you don't say you change the color, no, no, you change the color. You just, no. you just get everything done. Looks real looks perfect and that's it easy so then you can go ahead to make other adjustments that you wish if you want to add some vibrance or you want to add some brightness to it you can go ahead and do that brighten the color brighten the image and add some little you know, vibrance to it to make it pop so if I have up all the effects that I've made today, that's it.
that is our original image so you can go ahead and you can save different colors you want if you want to save this one you can just go ahead and save it then you go back and change to the color that you want oh i think i might look better you can go ahead and just save it save as and if you if you don't want this color just change it change it when i change it to some colors like this purple for instance it's not showing on the edges that i painted it but if you change it to some colors it will show let's see this one is not that i think this one is showing here at the background here that something is off so what i'll do is i'll change my foreground color and then i'll erase it we don't want that yeah it's gonna make the picture look weird So I'll go ahead and just erase the little stuffs here to make sure everything looks perfect and cool. This looks like the original, but it's not. <laughs> so yeah, we have a, we have our jackets. We've changed the color. So thank you so much for watching, and I hope with this tutorial you're able to also make some changes yourself okay thank you so much for watching i appreciate your support and please don't forget to like my video and subscribe and share and hope to see you next time thank you so much have a good day and god bless you bye for now